Kamala Harris just landed her first Vogue cover and the internet is largely unhappy with the way she's portrayed. The Democratic senator, who's set to be inaugurated on January 20th as the first woman, first black American, and first Asian American to assume the job of vice president, appears on the cover of the Elite Fashion Magazine's February 2021 issue, wearing a black blazer, white top, black pants, as well as two of her signature looks, Converse sneakers, and a string of pearls. She's standing amid a green backdrop draped with a pink satin fabric, which is a nod to her sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha. In a statement released to E! News, Vogue explained that the goal of the shoot was to emphasize Harris's approachable personality. An insider says that the magazine collaborated closely with Harris on the creative decisions, including the styling for the shoot, and that both looks were chosen by the VP elect and her team. Journalist Yashir Ali tweeted that according to a source familiar with publication plans, the image is not the cover that was mutually agreed upon by Vogue and the Harris team. On Sunday, January 10th, Vogue released a second cover image in which Harris is shown at a closer angle and sports a powder blue Michael Kors suit with a different pearl necklace in front of a wood backdrop. Ali said he was told that the cover showing Harris in the blue suit was the Vogue cover Kamala Harris's team thought would be released, noting that that was the digital cover, while the leaked image has already gone to print and will be the cover available for sale and sent to subscribers. In her cover interview, Harris talked about her political aspirations and how she plans on working with President-elect Joe Biden. She says she sees herself as a vice president who will always speak the truth, always give him my opinion, which will be based on fact and knowledge and life experience, and do it in a way that allows him, when he makes a decision, to make it with full information about the impact, and he's asked me to do that. She also echoed Biden's calls to unite the country. We can agree that we have more in common than what separates us, she told Vogue, and agree that it is not in the best interest of who we are as a nation to have any one group suffer for who they are.